you, Dale. New for you at 11, a new warning today from President Barack Obama that he will not negotiate on raising the debt ceiling. At a news conference here within the last hour, you may have seen it, the president said failure to act will hurt average Americans. America cannot afford another debate with this Congress about whether or not they should pay the bills they've already racked up. If congressional Republicans refuse to pay America's bills on time, Social Security checks and veterans' benefits will be delayed. We might not be able to pay our troops or honor our contracts with small business owners. Food inspectors, air traffic controllers, specialists who track down loose nuclear materials wouldn't get their paychecks. Investors around the world will ask if the United States of America is, in fact, a safe bet. The government has hit its $16.4 trillion borrowing limit and is expected to run out of ways to meet all of its obligations around March 1st, maybe even earlier. Republicans want spending cuts in exchange for raising the debt ceiling. This Justin, a teenager accused of shooting a classmate at a California high school, is charged as an adult. 16-year-old Brian Oliver is facing attempted murder as well as other counts. Police say Oliver walked into class at Taft Union High School on Thursday and shot a classmate with a shotgun. That classmate was in critical condition. People in the small San Joaquin Valley town say the suspect was teased for his small stature. Tomorrow, President Obama receives a report from Vice President Joe Biden on how to reduce gun violence in the country. As ABC's Karen Travers reports, the NRA is confident that any measure it opposes would be defeated. One month ago today, the shooting massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary shocked the nation and reignited a fierce battle over America's relationship with guns. Tomorrow, Vice President Biden will recommend a robust gun control game plan to President Obama, including stronger background checks for all gun purchases, a ban on high-capacity magazine clips, and a renewed ban on assault weapons. My starting point is not to worry about the politics. My starting point is to focus on what makes sense, what works. But it's going to be a nasty fight. See we don't you. think any of those things work. A confident uh, NRA president said on CNN, they'll win. Do you think you have enough support on Capitol Hill to keep an assault weapons ban from passing? I think right now we do. After Sandy Hook, polls showed that a majority of Americans favored stricter gun control, but that may not translate into action on Capitol Hill. Nearly 300 members of Congress have an A rating from the NRA for their opposition to all gun control measures. And with just the threat of stricter laws looming, many Americans are rushing to stock up on weapons and ammunition. As the gun control debate heats up in state houses and in Washington, the still grieving parents in Connecticut are debating what to do about Sandy Hook Elementary. Knocking down the school would be knocking down the memories of all of the children that went there. Knock that school down and make it sacred ground. The White House has signaled that even if Congress doesn't act, the president still will through executive order. And that has already enraged gun rights advocates. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington.